In this example, we're going to discuss a work rate problem with two unknowns and solve by using factoring. If Alfonso does a job in 30 hours less time than Zoe and they can do the job together in eight hours, how long will it take each to do the job alone? So recall that with work rate problems, we can use a table where we have on the first column the person, so we'll say Alfonso, Zoe, and then together. The first, second column is the time it took each of them, and then the third column is the work rate. So the time it takes Alfonso is 30 hours less time, time than Zoe, meaning if Zoe took T hours, that means that whatever time Zoe took, Alfonso did it in 30 hours less, meaning that Zoe's time should be greater than Alfonso's. It also gives us that the, they can do the job together in eight hours. So this next column is the work rate, and the work rate is how many jobs they can do per their time. So Alfonso can do one job per T minus 30 hours. Zoe can do a job one per T hours, and together they can do a job one job per eight hours. So with work rate problems, we add each of the work rate so work rate one plus the work rate of the second equals the work rate they could do together. So let's go ahead and set that up. So we have one over t minus 30 plus one over t equals to one eighth. Once we set up the work rate equation, we can go ahead and multiply by the LCD and solve. So we can see that the LCD, looking at all the denominators, is 8t times t minus 30. So multiplying each term by the LCD, I get 8t times t minus 30 times 1 over t minus 30 plus the LCD 8t times t minus 30 times 1 over t equal to 1 eighth times the LCD of 8t times t minus 30. And recall that the goal is to clear denominators by multiplying each term by the LCD. So notice in this first term, the t minus 30s reduce out, and we're left with 8t. Plus, in the second term, the t's reduce out, and I'm left with 8 times t minus 30, equal to, and then on the right side, we see the 8's only reduce out, and we get t times t minus 30. And hence, we get a, an, ex an equation of one variable, clearing denominators. So let's go ahead and distribute combined like terms and solve. So we get 8t plus 8t minus 240 equal to, distributing the t on the right side, I get t squared minus 30t. Right away I notice the t squared on the right side of the equation which tells me that this is a quadratic equation and I'll have to solve by factoring. So the first step is to get 0 on one side and then factor and then we can use the zero product rule to solve. Let's go ahead and combine like terms on the left side and get 16t minus 240 equals t squared minus 30t. 
Let's go ahead and move everything to the right side and subtract 16t and add 240. So minus 16t, but add 240. And notice we'll get 0 on the left side equal to t squared minus 46t plus 240. Now we just have to factor and then solve. So we have 0 equal to minus 40 and minus 6, checking, minus 40 times minus 6 is positive 240, minus 40t minus 6t gives me the minus 46t. Let's go ahead and apply the zero product rule and set each factor equal to zero and solve. Solving, we get t equals 40 or t equals 6. So going back to the original problem, let's make sure we answer the question. It says, how long will it take each to do the job alone? Well, if t is equal to 40, let's go ahead and check to see which solution is best fit. So if t is equal to 40, this means Alfonso's time is t minus 30. So this means that 40 minus 30 is 10. So Alfonso's time is 10 hours when Zoe's time is 40 hours. Let's check the 6. If we decided to let time equal 6, this means that Alfonso's time is still t minus 30. 6 minus 30, well, that's negative 24. And that certainly does not work with time. There's no such thing as negative 24. So we'll go ahead and omit the solution we obtain t equals 6 and keep t equals 40. So what does this mean? This means that Alfonso can do the job in 10 hours while Zoe can do the job in 40 hours.